south of Salt Lake City. The university is operated by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, commonly known as the Mormon Church. Until the last decade, most Americans associated the university with the historic trek of Brigham Young and his party, who in the year 1846 marched 1,400 miles to the valley of the Great Salt Lake to avoid religious persecution. In recent decades, the association has been with the world-renowned Mormon Tabernacle Choir. However, in the last few years, the achievements by athletes of the Mormon religion have brought a newfound publicity to the nearly six million people throughout the world who practice the Mormon faith. Olympic gold medal winning gymnast Peter Bidmar is a Mormon. So too is track star Henry Marsh. Also Danny Ainge of the Boston Celtics, Dale Murphy of the Atlanta Braves, and one of the heroes of the 1985 World Series, Dane Orch of the Kansas City Royals. But the greatest exposure to the religion has come in the past decade from the football field, from the amazing passing quarterbacks of Brigham Young University. Well, we have a very unique university. We acknowledge that. We're proud of that. When the Mormons first came to these valleys, the first thing they did were establish schools, and BYU is kind of a remaining symbol of that commitment uh, to education. The very motto of the university is that the glory of God is intelligence. The university is not limited to Latter-day Saints. We set standards that are higher here than are expected in our conference, and our conference set standards that are higher than for the NCAA. So we simply bring our students in uh, with every expectation that there are students first and athletes second. More has been learned about Brigham Young University in a little over a decade than in the previous 100 years because of the passing ability of six BYU quarterbacks who have written and rewritten the record book since 1972 when head coach Lavelle Edwards took over the team. The main thrust of Brigham Young's offense, the forward pass. We've uh, stayed with it. That's probably the single biggest factor, and that is that the last 12, 13 years, we haven't changed much. We just keep adding to it and refining it, and we feel like now that we've got a pretty good system. The 14-year history of the Brigham Young passing attack under Coach Edwards is unparalleled in college football history. Well, when you're recruiting an athlete, you, you look for different characteristics that he has, and of course, number one, you have to begin with physically if he has the ability to uh, throw the ball and if he has good quick feet. Uh, every quarterback we've had, I think with the exception of Steve Young, is registered of the year and has had to wait for uh, three years before he's had the opportunity to play. Uh, Everything is pretty well kept in perspective here, and we have high-caliber young men that work hard, uh, maybe not always the greatest athletes and the greatest speed, but certainly uh, kids with great character. And so consequently, over the past few years, we've won a lot of games, close games in the fourth quarter, but we've had to come from behind, and I think that all ties into just the way the school is. Perhaps the most incredible result of the Brigham Young passing system took place last year, when Robbie Bosco became their starting quarterback. Before the 1984 season began, Bosco saw little action. He was the backup quarterback behind Brigham Young passing stars Jim McMahon and Steve Young. Being a quarterback here at BYU, you need to be patient. You need, you need to wait about two, maybe three years to, before you get a chance to be the starting quarterback. And I got to watch Jim play, and then I watched Steve play for a couple of years. And just learning from their experiences, what they went through, and how they handled uh, pressure situations, you know, really helped me uh, through my two years being the starting quarterback. Last year, Robbie Bosco, in his first starting season as quarterback, led Brigham Young to the national championship. Thirteen straight victories, including a bowl game win over Michigan. Robbie Bosco is in his final season of college football. The sixth Brigham Young quarterback to become a candidate for the Heisman Memorial Trophy.